police are on their way to a fight at a city centre bar. Can you show us off cheeky monkeys, please? What you need to do is get yourself to hospital and then, then on the way and while you're there you can get all of your family, yeah? Well, we need to get you right, to hospital out. and get well, you get sorted, you don't we? because we've got that part of your ear, and there might be a chance that the doctors can do something with it, yeah? We've got your ear in a jug, and an ace, right? A ear in a jug? Yeah, it's an, it's an ace, right? Get it sewn back on again. I and then, and then after nowhere. that, we're going to need to know what we're going to do with the girl who we've got detained, don't we? Well, she's been arrested for wounding, which is, uh, is a serious assault. What she gets charged with at the end of the day remains to be seen, really. The girl that's sat there on the bench got quite a horrific injury and the officers have already rendered some first aid. We just wait for the ambulance to arrive. It's unfortunate it happens. It's happening less and less, but it does still happen. She was here. She was at first. Right. Then this other, then that lass, stepped back, it's her. And then the other woman picked up a bottle off the side, smashed it over her head, and cut half her ear off. And I saw the ear on the floor, and I'll be honest, I was nearly sick. But that, that's exactly what happened, like. The injured woman is taken to hospital. She's told it will take two years of plastic surgery to rebuild her ear. Her attacker is charged with wounding. A lot of people coming in, sometimes between 20 and 30,000 people on a busy night. And the vast majority of those people are fine. It's just a small minority that drink too much and then start in an antisocial uh, manner or become violent. And those are the people that we're out to target and make sure they don't spoil the night for everybody else. Every weekend, Humberside police face a barrage of booze-related trouble. Alcohol is to blame for 44% of all violent crimes and two-thirds of all weekend admissions to casualty. Because of this, the force has adopted a zero-tolerance policy on all disorderly behaviour in Hotspots Hull and Grimsby. They know that early intervention with troublemakers stops more serious incidents happening later. Tonight, DS Kevin Bowe is in charge of the public order team in Grimsby. We know that a quarter of all our recorded crime is violent crime. And our analysis have looked at the problems within Grimsby specifically and across the division. And that's why, through the Tackling Violent Crime Programme, we're looking at really trying to reduce that violent crime, detect more, and just really be out here in high visibility to let the people know that what we're doing, why we're here, and offer that reassurance, perhaps, but also to arrest those that are stepping out of the line. Well, you better go that way, don't you? Because on the way up here, we've heard you swearing. PC Paul Tufnell is one of ten officers in town tonight. This man is getting his last warning for disorderly behaviour. No abuse, mate. No You'll be going home, won't you? No. No. That's all you've got to do is take a bit of advice. You're not going in there drinking, so there's no point in standing round here, is it? All right, well, you'll have to go and wait down there. No, I won't. Yeah! Oi! Language. Oh, sorry. Constant abuse. And moaning and whinging all the time is really getting on my nerves. Oh, remember that. What I want you to do is sit here, think about growing up, and have a little chat on yourself. You can wait there for your mate. You come back up there, I'll lock you up. Get a lot of public order, which consists of violence, swearing, abusive people who people who openly urinate in the street. Uh, we've had a real clampdown on that just lately, because it, it affects everybody's night out. People, had, at one point, a lot of people stopped coming out into Grimsby because of the violence at night. I got my feet, and he punched me at eight. But it's a lovely Grimsby welcome for you then, yeah. That's it. That's, that's it. it. That's, that's it. it. That's it. That's and he's back at your top good. as well, mate. <laughs> Some hey. daft lad because he was Scottish has decided to hit him. Yep. No, he didn't start. No. Mate. You're yeah. really, 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 really drunk. I hate you. We're trying to sort this out oh, with your mate it's who's it's been here. He needs to go yeah, to yeah, the hospital, yeah. mate, doesn't he? I agree with you. Yeah. All right. Get him into a taxi and get him to the hospital, yeah? Hey, 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 keep your Fuck language off. down, otherwise you're going right. to get yourself no. into a lot no. of trouble, no. all right? No. What I suggest is you get in a taxi with yeah. your mate, you take him to the hospital, 
and Carl. you calm yourself down. Carl, come all right? On, mate. Piss me off the way everyone fucking. Whoa, no. Language. Carl, Carl, last Carl. one. Carl. No. Meanwhile, this group are on their last warning for swearing. The man's night on the tiles ends with a night in a cell and a sobering £80 fine. Not anything on your review? No. Nothing at all? Nothing, no. Where's your mobile? Yeah. Where's your mobile? All right, right mate. Oh, I've too much to drink, you know. Just watch your head. Yeah. Thank you. you get in? Oh. There Thank you go. Just take a seat. We're yeah. there in the mouth. Uh, thank you. He was um, ejected from the walkabout public house. Uh, he wasn't very happy with the door staff. Uh, he was arguing with them, we intervened, tried to usher him away. He was warned several times to stop swearing at us, and in the end, DC Bullock arrested him for swearing, which is Section 5 of Public Order Act. He'll be probably kept in the cells until the morning when he's served up. By his own admission, he's had quite a lot to drink tonight. He was quite compliant with us, he wasn't arguing with us, he wasn't violent in any way, but uh, his language uh, and his behaviour let him down, really. 30 miles away in Hull, police have a secret weapon to keep a close eye on the city's drinkers. This state-of-the-art council-run CCTV centre is one of the biggest in the country, recording live images from over 200 cameras. CCTV has become an invaluable tool in assisting Hull Police on the ground. We use it very, very proactively. We use it to, to keep an eye on what's going on in the streets. Um, there are numerous cameras around the city, over 200 cameras. A lot of them are within the city centre and they see a lot of stuff that we don't see and they direct us to it. They see it, they capture the evidence, we go down and we give them people an £80 fixed penalty fine. That's what they can expect, that's what they'll get. Tonight, PC Craig Atkin is in the control room. He's directing officers to a man he's just seen urinating in the street. Tell those officers to turn left now. He's all in blue with white trainers, just walking past the red car. He's now running. Roger, I think uh, I've seen him. I live in Beef Herpish, have I? I live in Beef Herpish. Locked up if you don't walk. By me. Off you go. Right, you've seen that CCTV, right? You're in it in Hammond's doorway. In Hammond's doorway. I don't think so. They can take The outnumbered officers warn the rest of the group to calm down or face being arrested themselves. You understand that for public order? One more. Walk. One more. If you want to dispute the claim, you can do it. One of the group who didn't calm down is arrested, but then he decides to make a run for it. Running from X ray 95 heading south street towards uh, Jameson Street. Yeah, we're following him uh, on CCTV. Any other patrols to assist is uh, heading down Jameson Street towards British Home Stars. Yeah, I'm following him on CCTV. Any other patrols to assist is uh, heading down Jameson Street towards British Home Stars. I'm just going past uh, the old Fletchers, crossing over towards British Home Stars. It's going to go through to. Um, the man hasn't realised his every step is being followed by CCTV, but he keeps on going, even when a police van pulls up. There he is. 
His right to freedom doesn't last long, as police block the car park exit behind these trees, and he's re-arrested for public disorder. Without the CCTV, he would have been lost. There was no doubt about it. Um, unless the officer could have detained him who was initially foot, uh, in foot pursuit, he would have been lost in the streets of Hull. It sounds like there's been an assault inside the, uh, the pub or the nightclub. Yeah, you see him there, he's covered in blood. It's a case now of uh, speaking to him, obviously, and then speaking to the staff here and see if we can find out who's responsible for, uh, for what's gone on. Looks like he might be in need of an ambulance. I'll just go and have a look. You're going to have a skegger today, are you? Yeah, just yeah. clean him up. Oh. There you go. Good fella, come on. Uh, it's a bit right. tearful at the minute, mm. so we're just trying to see if we can get a description really of the people. We spoke to the door staff, they can't offer us any suggestions who's done it. Um, none of them witnessed it, obviously. It's packed in there, so it may have just been a two minute scuffle and that's been it over with. I've just spoken to the bouncers, mate, and they've said that they don't, no yeah, they don't know anything about it. But listen, mate, what we'll do is look at the CCTV tomorrow. Right. No, yeah. no, I'm going, mate. Mine, give me a Shove it. No, well, then no, they're going to get away it. with it, aren't they? Yeah. Uh, you always do, mate. They get away with it all the time. In the morning, I've, got I've waited CCTV. for this long, for this, and it's not worth it. If he's not bothered, Stacey, then we can't do that about it, can we? He's had a, a nasty cut to the head. Um, I don't think he's thinking quite straight. We'll try to persuade him to uh, let's take some crime report details off him, and he doesn't want to know. He wants to go home, and uh, that's the end of it. He's not, he's not very happy, but we can't make people complain at the end of the day. Just as the team is about to move on, two men are spotted urinating against a wall. They're taken to the police van, and for spending a penny in public, they're each fined £80. Pounds. It's a public order offence, all right. So first of all, I have to caution them. You don't have to say anything, but I'm defence, if you don't mention that question, to will in the car. Um, both caught urinating up against the church wall, um, around the other side there, so... They'll be dealt with by way of fixed penalty ticket, £80. Pounds. Um, it's an instant ticket, they've got 21 days to pay it. If, it. if they don't pay it within 21 days, it goes up again by half, and uh, they get summons to court. So it's uh, an expensive night out for him, really. It's cameras everywhere. Right, okay. You was all stood here. How can you see some urine in a funnel there? There was there? plenty of us, all right. Yeah. You're forgetting, about, silly, you're forgetting about CCTV, mate, aren't you? What, you that's can all, do it as quick as that's that, That's all I'll say to you. Yeah, absolutely. I might be pissed, police. but I'm not absolutely. that down, They came here to arrest the man for fighting, but they arrested the man for having a pee. There's a big difference. There's so much trouble in this club every week. He's not been arrested, mate, has he? Well, like, might as well be. You know, what's policing all about these days? Arresting burglars, drug addicts, yeah. or somebody having a pee. Clamping down on antisocial behaviour. Oh, yeah, antisocial yeah. behaviour. Yeah. 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 Somebody having a pee behind a tree. We're not going to allow people to come into the city centre and do exactly what they want, which is to drink a lot, then come out on the streets and urinate, to be antisocial and to commit violent crime. Those people, we will target and we will have early intervention and lock them up at the earliest opportunity. Sure, all right, mate? I'm trying to get her a taxi, but no-one will take because she's been sick. Oh, they, they won't do, will they? Is she a friend of yours, is she? Yeah. She's my girlfriend. All oh, right, well, you're going to look after her, then, are you? Oh, yeah, I'm yeah. looking after her. Nice I'm trying to get her home. Only Why is it just too much drink? Yeah. Too much vodka and that, like, vodka yeah. red bull. That's it, isn't it? what you do. That's what you come around town for, and it gets smashed. I don't know, is it? Yeah, uh, yeah don't you? Yeah. At least I can not make like it that, home. No. Not like this. Yeah. That's my mum if you don't mind. OK. <laughs> You're all right, mate. Can you look after her, then? She's in a bit of a pickle with I herself, know, isn't she? Right all now. right. Good. No taxes will take her. Oh, man. People go out with the intention of, of getting off the faces, as we've seen with that girl that was knelt down by the car there. Um, I mean, a friend openly admitted he hadn't had a good night until he got into a state like that. Um, I, think it's, I think it's the mentality thing um, more than anything else. And plus, uh, the pubs stay open a lot longer than they used to do, and beer and alcohol pops are a lot cheaper than they ever was. So the opportunity is there. If you've got the state of mind and the mindset to go out and get absolutely um, inebriated and off your face, then, then you can do. And I think that's, that's the culture, especially with the, the younger people of today, is, is that's why they go out with their intention to, to do. Um, and until they change that, that sort of mindset, it's going to continue. Well, you've made one mistake then, haven't you? Deciding to get married. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, so, so don't get, don't get making two. <laughs> 
Over in Grimsby, it's nearly 2 a.m. and police are preparing for their busiest hour as people flood out the nearby clubs. The next 10, 15 minutes, you'll see how the Riverhead itself changes. All the taxi ranks in that down the bottom and all the uh, restaurants uh, will all start to get full and you have just a mass of in excess of probably 2,000 people all mingling around, trying to move them on. Please, some, some aren't happy, some are happy. And that can last for an hour after, uh, until everybody's actually gone out of the area. It's not long before PC Tufnell gets his first arrest of the night, but not before a chase. The man, who'd been heard shouting abuse at the police, has to be held down by three officers to get him handcuffed. I done nothing wrong. Right, mate, stand up. I was just going to hurt you, right? right? Stand, stand up calmly. Hey, 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 hey. Come on, hey. You don't want to go. You've got your opportunity. Do it now. Oh, yeah. Calm down. Sit in the back of the van. Listen to me, it's easier if you cooperate with us, right? Hang on. On you, I know. No, no, no. Guys come through the crowd, start to be abusive, swearing at us, using foul language. Give him a warning, and he's just continued doing it. Then he's made gestures in the street towards us. When he's turned, I've run after him, got hold of him. He's then tried to make off, but luckily for us, a member of the public tripped him up as he was running away. He's fell on the floor. He's then struggled with three of us on the floor because he's his drink, he's in drink and he's tensed up. We've all had to struggle with him on the floor, managed to get him handcuffed. He's also got injured himself in the incident. So, we need to go and book him in at custody now. Happy day. The officers take him back to the station, where he's given a fixed penalty notice for public disorder. <laughs> Minutes later, someone is seen struggling in the ice-cold water, and PC Kevin Palmer has no choice but to go in after him. It takes three officers five minutes to get the man onto dry land. A couple of passers-by said that they saw a guy jump in and want to kill himself. I uh, looked in the water, we get a lot of people that jump in and mess around. I saw him going under, uh, and he was taking a lot of water in, so he was drowning. So I had to go in and get him. So I got going, put him, him to the side and we got him out. An ambulance crew arrives to take over from the police. The man, still shivering, is taken straight to hospital. Back on the street, police take charge of the mounting chaos. Why am I? What did I do? Did you get your phone? Walk away. Walk away. Fire to me. Walk away. Now, you have no business there. Walk away. Hey, mate. Hey, mate. She ran at me. She ran at me.
this woman is arrested in the commotion. Her friends start to obstruct the police and risk getting arrested themselves. The group ignores the police call for calm, and one by one, five people are arrested for disorderly behaviour and put into the prison van. Well, I'll explain that, right, you've been arrested for disorderly behaviour. Yeah? I've been playing. Oh, he's doing his job, he's doing his job. Stop moving them around. We're going to tighten up on an officer in the course of his duty has arrested somebody. Your chap has come along and he's obstructed that officer, therefore he's under arrest for that offence. That's what he'll be dealt with for. It's been successful, and when the incidents have arisen, we've had plenty of staff to deal with it effectively and quickly. What you often don't see is the fact that we stopped that we stop most fights. You know, we nip it in the bud before it develops into anything serious, and that's exactly why we're here, really, preventing serious assaults. The night draws to a close with only one serious assault in both Hull and Grimsby. And next weekend, the police will be back out to do it all again to make Humberside a safer place to party.